I always say I am different. Yes, so my name is and even my problems are. Every startup had the same issue when they started the for the first time. We launched the robot seven months ago and from last seven months we have been struggling to get it into production. Every startup at this particular point will not have orders but they have lot of stock with them. But for us, we have lot of orders across the globe but we don't have stock. So this clearly says not only me, even my problems are different and even my problems follow a different pattern. So right from my childhood, everything made me completely different and that made my life exciting, adventurous, exotic, anxious, miserable, what not. I faced each and every situation. So the story begins here. A small tale of mine begins here. The joy of giving for me, I learned from our chairman and your chairman, Sri Lava Rathaygaru. When I was in my school, on every birthday, of his birthday, we used to get sweet packets. I don't know whether that's being followed even now or not, but we used to get that. The whole year I used to wait for that, only one day. And I used to fight with my parents to pay my school fees even in Vignan for the next year only because of that. When we receive that, the whole class will be diluted. There will be no class. Teachers will be talking about that. We will be talking about that. There are a lot of murmurs happening. There is no class at all. At that particular age, even I want to do something like that. But I know I can't do it. So what I what all I done is to dream in my class from morning 9 a.m. to evening 4 p.m. are my dream classes. I used to dream like anything. My teacher used to tell about science exhibition or science classes, and I used to dream something in the bank seats or back benches. Everything I dreamed, I became the U.S. president when I was in my school. I became the Indian president when I was in my school. I had a lot of companies when I was in my school. I done a lot of service when I was in my school. That was my dream uh, capacity that was growing every day stronger and stronger. But I decided that has to be stopped somewhere and start somewhere. Then I realized it's, it's time to start. When I was in my 10th class with my principal and all other friends in my school, uh, I requested them that let's start an organization internally in the school itself. Let's start helping someone nearby. So I completed all my 10, 10 years of education in Vignan. So when I was in my ninth, ninth standard, I started this. So we used to uh, collect money uh, from each and every student. So everyone who is going to uh, the cave or the bakeries in the lunch breaks or short breaks, the change whatever left, we used to uh, save that. And once the whole box is full and then we have, we used to take that money and we used to donate it to someone. So that's how my joy of giving was started. And when I was, when I was in my second year, uh, the first year of intermediate, so I was thrown out of Vignan after 10th class. Uh, so even, uh, even then also my parents tried to push me into Vignan Intermediate and then Vignan Engineering. I told okay 10 years they had me enough, now I have to uh, choose what's happening outside. Once I'm out of Vignan then I realized something very tricky, very important. Till then my education system was completely different, till then my perception of life is completely different. Till then my joy of living is completely different and till then my joy of giving is different. But when I stepped out of Vignan, I decide, I realized one thing, the education system or our society is completely different. It's simple, it's just like a conveyor belt. All we are refining, we, we are on a refining process, we are raw materials. We are thrown on a conveyor belt, for 10 years we will be refined and after that you are thrown into intermediate and two years again all the refining process will be tested and in after two years again you will be thrown into your desired fields, engineering, medical, etc. and the couple of people who will be failed in that refining process and again they will take a long term and again start back from inter first year. So this is what I understood. So this is the whole concept of a uh, system. So why? So there is an ingredient people are adding to it. There is an ingredient added to that particular system. It's society. Yes. A society is an ingredient which is corrupting most of its system. Not only me, there are many students who face that. I know even you, at least one or two will be there in that. 
so when i was in my uh, second year of intermediate i started my first ngo called sahaya foundation so it's the first ngo we started in my second year of intermediate and when i step back to uh, engineering fortunately i was thrown the conveyor belt thrown me into gokaraju rangaraju grit and it's not because of my test results it's because it's a management quota obviously because my mset rank is bigger than anyone else so i was thrown there and there i started my journey again so this time i we have started an ngo uh, again all in a larger way with an orphanage or uh, nearby to my college so we have more than 20 kids and then i started uh, contacting all my friends across all the colleges in hyderabad and we requested we requested them to start this particular ngo in their colleges as a chapter and within one year we could reach more than 40 colleges across hyderabad and that's what we would we were able to do it but after one year of successful completion of uh, the organization we need funds to maintain that so we don't have funds as at early age we definitely will not have any uh, funds like that so then we decided I, i decided particularly to start one firm and i don't know what to start so and i was searching on what field i have to do it and at that particular time i remembered one of my uncles very very famous uncle uh, of my family uh, in my apartment when i used to prepare for mset examinations so i and there is another girl who is also preparing for that so we used to sit and uh, prepare for that so he asked that particular lady what do you want to do in your future she said some robotics and all even i don't know what robot and what is robotics as well so i told even i want to do robotics and he said you are not fit to do robotics but you are very good uh, cleaner you can be a very good cleaning part for the robot and that stuck in my mind after almost one and a half year of my journey again so in my first year of btech uh, uh, the first end of uh, btech first year i seen one poster from velour institute of technology regarding robotics i took my train i went there i started learning and the passion started from there and within no time within 6 months i tried to learn the uh, learn the complete subject on robotics and then my first firm called club of robotics so we started a club in hyderabad where every robotic person everyone who want to learn robotics can come down and learn and do all the stuff and within one year we trained around 25000 students across the country with just 1200 rupees 24/7 lab facility you come in the midnight my labs are open for you do research find a solution and go out so that's a simple model that's what i've done uh, when i was in my second year and that started growing there is another firm uh, uh, which i started in my second year itself psv technologies and then zec technologies and by my fourth year i have zec it solutions so the olex and quicker what you are seeing was not there at but that particular point of time we designed a best website for them uh, best website for all your needs beconic.com so that was my product again and when the whole college is sitting for placements i went to my college to take placements and i had more than 360 employees working under me and i have my offices at cyber towers high tech city and then one in madhapur and one in asra nagar and one in jntu and that was a very different life i was living i don't know what's happening on the other side of the story so suddenly after one year of my uh, graduation all my firm started closing down shutting down they started running into losses uh, they started shutting down one by one and after one uh, after one or two months of that particular incidents uh, i was completely depressed and looking at me my mom uh, went into depression and she got some multiple heart attacks and she expired and that's the day i taken back completely without any second thought i closed all my firms completely closed everything and then started realizing what made me wrong what made me prove wrong or what made me to come into this situation the first most important thing starting a firm is not a difficult one you can start it easily but leading it in a pro appropriate way is very important having your right team having your right path without any deviations that will be a best quality of a leader and i failed as a leader on the first attempt and that was my first attempt and after 6 months of time i started one more firm and this time after two or three months again i again failed and this time i failed as a founder because my concept is clear my i have no deviations and all but i couldn't manage what's happening around me and this time i failed as a founder i failed as a leader i failed as an entrepreneur but i never failed as a human being and that gave me another chance within no time and from then i started traveling to all the engineering colleges talking to each and every student trying to know their problems and trying to solve one by one and i'm not giving any advices here because 
no one can give advices to your juniors and if, especially to you guys we can't give you advices but we can only do one thing we can only support you what you're trying to do and that's what i started doing it and after a couple of months a uh, couple of years this time a new firm uh, gave uh, i mean i gave birth to a new firm called hbots robotics so it's a two years back story again so this time it's from imagination to creation so you imagine we support you and there is a no product out there for our country and for our society so that's, there's a simple line over there it's my idea plus passion plus cause plus determination plus failures plus learnings is equal to hbots robotics so what we do so we are into robotics manufacturing so most of you have seen our robots but before that so this uh, is part of our labs so we have our labs across all these areas across the country in each and every engineering colleges in these areas and we work closely with government organizations engineering colleges we closely work with uh, uh, even mncs so our target is simple right from agriculture to industrial automation there are many problems india is facing many problems india is facing many technical problems india is facing and all my labs out there in the country will be training students and these students are trying to solve those problems it's not me it's not government it's not an organization it's you who are solving your problem and that's the concept of this right from agriculture to industrial automation so just a simple line come with a problem we find a solution and go out with a product that's it slaps so after launching the product 6 months from last 7 months what we were doing it so we have a very successful launch uh, shri jayesh ranjan garu has launched inaugurated our robot we've been invited to malaysia we've been invited to romania we've been invited to all the governments in the country so we wrote mous with them we are working with deloitte we are working with infosys all the big names are in our basket right now but we couldn't get into production because our system trained us right from our last decades past decades our system trained us to be a it back end services support and there is no proper hardware industry in the country and that's what we are facing and today we started a mission in solving that tomorrow if you are coming out with any hardware product you will not find that problem because we are trying to make your lives very very simple it's not a business it's a cause just a cause so this is me uh, last time in romania recently in romania it's a process to apply for romanian visa a 15 days of process and a uh, 6000 rupees inr of uh, visa fees and two bureaucrat signatures but for me i got romanian visa in less than 2 minutes i was standing outside the embassy they took my passport they stamped it and came back immediately took a flight and went back to romania i don't know what's happening also so that's a big story again but when i was there so this particular line of phrase attached to me very uh, seriously the strongest people are not those who show strength in front of everyone but those who will fight that battle behind everyone so everyone not only me even you are fighting with yourself i know that and you know that don't show it up to anyone else just try to fight with yourself just stick on to your passion start working on it just try to make it make your life beautiful so these are our robots currently so these are our robots currently the first made in india robots i bet you can select any company in the country there's no such kind of robot tip to toe everything is manufactured in india not even a single sensor has been imported from china and that's the goal of hbots 1 2 and 3 and 4 all the four models mark my date on september 5th 2018 you can come down to t hub to witness all these robots in fact i am turning 28 on september 5th so my parents or my family everyone started uh, pushing me you are turning 28 it's time to worry no it's not at all time to worry there's no age limit in what you are doing with passion and for good cause try to do it unless and until world accepts you don't fear for everything don't fear for anything we are here we are here not only we there are couple of organizations who are here for you right so what we are trying to do in simple with all these robots what is our long term vision robotics artificial intelligence machine learning and virtual reality all together you put all together and just see where, where uh, this sky is the limit that's it so we are just trying to integrate all these things make beautiful products and send it back to our country 
the one thing I just want to uh, tell you very clearly, we are not trying to replace any human being, not even a single human being will be replaced because of our robots, it is simple. We are just trying to enhance your work, we are just trying to enhance your job, we are just trying to get a lot of productivity outside. Do not depend on other countries, you have a lot of problems here to think about, do not depend on someone else to solve your problem, solve your problem. Just do not spend your weekend times or birthday celebrations in an orphanage. There are a lot of people who are taking care of orphans. You have got one beautiful stuff in you, it is your education, it is your technical stuff. Try to use that for your country, for your society, for your world and your world will be very beautiful. That is it. Simple, last but not least, mark your dream, multiply it with your passion, integrate it with a cause and equate it with your failures and that is success. And today, I started my journey at Vignan around 20 years ago and even today, even today I am in search of victory. Because victory will not come only once. Every day you will be seeing your victory in one or the other way. Just focus on that. Just do not focus on the results. Simple. And I have two beautiful videos for you. One we dedicated to the police officers. Uh, video. One. will be dedicated to one of those bravery officers, Sir Heyman Katkare. And all the photos what we have shown you in the last, you can find all the robots dedicated to them on September 5th. So the video. No worries, do not worry and no regrets, only hope, all the best for your life. Thank you. And I am Kishan PSV and I am made in India.